वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टूडे इन दिस वीडियो सेशन वी विल लर्न अबाउट इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन ऑफ डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ मनी सप्लाईज ओके सो बेसिकली इफ वी टॉक अबाउट द मनी सप्लाई इन जनरल वी टॉक अबाउट फोर एम्स एंड दैट फोर एम्स आर डिनोटेड बाय एम वन एम टू एम थ्री एंड एम फोर ओके so now just look at these m1 m2 m3 and m4 first of all if we specifically talk about m1 then this is a currency with the public okay so this is what this is currency with public other than the currency with the public it also includes demand deposit that is with the banking system so it also includes first it includes currency with public secondly it it includes demand deposit with banking system so any demand deposit that is with the bank is also included in the m1 okay then it also includes other deposits with rbi other deposits which are held with rbi so m1 you can understand that this is the most liquid part okay so this is the most liquid part of the economy currency with public is easily available so it is very much liquid demand deposit with the banking system that is current account deposit or saving account deposits okay so this is also very much liquid and the deposit with the rbi itself is also very much liquid so this is highly liquid okay so m1 is a highly liquid so we will you know practice it once again that it includes currency with public demand deposit with banking system and other deposits with the rbi okay then the second part it is a m2 now m2 is equal to m1 plus the demand deposit that is with the saving deposit of the post office saving banks m1 plus saving deposit of post office saving banks okay so this is also liquid but not that much liquid as m1 okay so you can see like this this is m1 is a highest liquid money that is available in the circulation so from the numerical point of view you need to calculate m1 first of all to calculate m2 now then it is m3 m3 is equal to m1 plus time deposit that is with the banking system time deposit with banking system that will constitute m3 now what is time deposit so a deposit in a banking account that cannot be withdrawn before a set date okay without the withdrawal okay when the withdrawal is not required and without the notice it cannot be withdrawn before a set date or the maturity date we call it time deposit but one thing we need to notice that we don't include fcnr deposits in it not fcnr deposits fcnr deposits are not included in this okay and lastly it is m4 m4 is sum of m3 plus all post office deposits m3 plus total post of it office deposits but we don't include nscs not nscs now we will solve some problems based on these okay so question number 1 it says currency with public is given demand deposit with banking system is given time deposit with banking system is given other deposits with rbi is given saving deposit or saving post office saving banks is given and uh, 
Lastly, all deposits, post office savings bank excluding NSCs is also provided. Okay, and we need to calculate M2 first of all. So according to the formula, if we remember, what is M1? Okay, because I told you that uh, for calculating M2, we need to calculate M1 first of all. Okay, because M2 is someone sum of M1 plus saving deposit of post office saving bank. And in M1, we particularly read that there are three things that we need to include. First, it is a currency with the public. Secondly, it is a demand deposit with the public banking system. And thirdly, it is the other deposit that is with the RBI. So currency with the public M1 is equal to currency with public plus demand deposit with banking system. So currency with public is given to be 1 lakh 20,000 crores. Okay. And second thing that is a demand deposit with banking system is given to be 2 lakh crores. So we will add it to it. And thirdly, we need to have the other deposit is RBI and that is given to be 3 lakh crores. So if we solve this, we will get 6 lakh 20,000 crore. Okay. So our M1 is 6 lakh 20,000 crore. And from this formula over here, M2 is equal to M1 that is 620,000 plus the saving deposit of post office saving bank. And that is given here 1 lakh crore. Okay. That's it. We just need to know that uh, which things are to be included and which are to be excluded and we can easily solve the numerical of this. So it will here be 7,20,000 crore and our answer is 7,20,000 crore. Now with the same data, we need to calculate M3 now. Okay. And uh, if we memorize M3 was equal to M1 plus time deposit with the banking system okay but we don't include fcnr deposit in this okay so m3 we write over here m3 is equal to m1 plus time deposit with banking system okay so this is a simple numerical question that is given and uh, we are not given the FCNR deposit if it is included or not and uh, particularly if it is given in the question then we need to exclude it by subtracting it from the time deposit with the banking system. Okay, so for here now we already calculated M1 that was 6,20,000 crores so we will put the value as it is. And uh, time deposit with banking system is uh, given to be 2,50,000 crores. So we will just substitute the value and solve this and we will get our answer as 8,70,000 crores. Okay. So our answer is 8,70,000 crores as M3. Now let us solve one another question on it. And the data is given and uh, it is like this currency with public demand deposit with banking system time deposit with banking system other deposit with RBI saving deposit of post office saving banks all deposit with post office banks ex excluding NSCs. Okay, so all the data is given and we need to calculate M4. Okay, so if we memorize to calculate the M4 we need to calculate the M3 first of all because the formula for the M4 was M3 plus the total post office deposit total post office deposit okay but we don't include nsc deposit in it that is national saving certificates we don't include them and uh, m4 will be equal to particularly if we substitute the m1 value in it because we need to first of all calculate the m3 and m3 is equal to we just solved it in the previous question and M3 is equal to M1 plus time deposit with the banking system. So we will write here time deposits and banking system. Okay, 
so first of all we will put the values over here so m1 is equal to we know the three values which we include in it so currency with the public and demand deposit with banking system and other deposit is the rbi so that all the data is given currency with the public is given to be 90000 crores and uh, the other thing that the demand deposit with the banking system is given to be 180000 crores it is given to be 180000 crores and the third thing that is a other deposit with rbi is given to be 260000 crores okay now time deposits with the banking system but we don't include fcnr deposit in it so time deposit with banking system is given to be 220000 crores okay so we just substitute the values and uh, we'll add them up and uh, we will have the m3s we solved just for m3 right now and uh, we get our answer for m3 as 750000 crores so it is 750000 crores okay now for solving the m4 we will substitute the value of uh, m3 in it and uh, m4 will be equal to 750000 crores plus total post office deposits and it is given that all deposits with post office saving bank excluding nscs that is a thing we need okay so if the nse's deposit is given at uh, extra and the total deposit post office deposit is given then we need to subtract the nse's from the all deposits with the post office okay but here in the question it is given that uh, it is excluding nse's so we no need not to subtract it from the total deposit so we will write it as it is that is 50000 crore okay so just add them up and our answer is as 8 lakh crores so this is very much simple to calculate so here is a little concept that is hidden in the money supply that is a uh, narrow money and uh, broad money it can be asked in the statement type questions okay so we call m1 as the narrow money m1 is called narrow money and m3 is called broad money okay so if you remember in the very start of the video beginning of the video we just talked about the liquidity concept okay so m1 is the most liquid most liquid money that is available okay so narrow money we can see is the most liquid part of the money supply because the demand deposits deposits can be withdrawn anytime during the banking hours okay even after the bank even after the banking hours we can withdraw them using the atms and can transfer them okay so it is available all the times with us okay and the time deposits on the other hand like fd and rd accounts have a fixed maturity period so hence they cannot be withdrawn before the expiry of this period which is included in m3 if we remember because it includes time deposits with the banking system okay so we call m3 as broad money and m1 as narrow money i hope this will help you a lot in ciib exam okay if you want to get the previous questions we have a full pack of questions that includes 4000 questions of all the papers including the optional exams of ciib so if you want to get them just visit the link in the description and uh, just sign up and uh, log into the panel and you can get them over there so before the end of the video uh, do not forget to like this video and share this video and uh, also hit the subscribe button and uh, hit the bell icon as well as so as you get updated whenever we upload a new video